Hello friends, it's me. Today we're watching a My Story animated video about a YouTuber who becomes a millionaire. I wonder if she plays Roblox. Hi, I'm Ariana from New York. Hello, Ariana from New York. When I opened my eyes to this world, the first person I saw was my dad. And since that moment, I adored him and he loved me like crazy. So y'all remember the first thing you ever saw as soon as you popped out? I think I was figuring out how to breathe. I loved my mom too, but she was a little harder to like. Like, she had a serious problem. She wanted everything clean. I mean, really clean. When I was four, Dad smudged a piece of birthday cake all over my face, and Mom went ballistic. I feel like this would be me as a parent. I will not tolerate a single crumb on my dining table. She's all dirty now. Why'd you do that, John? Come on, it's her birthday. We're just having fun. Mom and Dad would always argue because she was such a clean freak. Once in second grade, my school had a mother-daughter bake-off event, and Mom wore plastic gloves the whole time. And she was so picky about everything. Are you sure you you wash the bowl properly? Twice. With hot water? Yes, Mom. I washed it like 10 times already. Now, can we start baking? Because everyone is way ahead of us. If we're baking a cake, why is there a bottle of sriracha right there? Why is it spicy? But these spoons look like they need to be sanitized. I got so mad that I took the spoon and licked it. <gasps> there. Now it's sanitized. You have committed a deadly sin. Licking a filthy spoon, punishable by death. Dad and I had so much more in common. We laughed at the same <laughs> jokes, watched the same movies, and we enjoyed our PlayStation challenges. Beat you again. How'd you become so good? I learned from the best. How'd you become so good? Is Daddy a smoker? But my world turned around in seventh grade when my parents decided to get a divorce. It broke my heart when he moved out. Why does she have to live with the mom? I thought mother couldn't stand having a filthy child. Let's roll around in some mud. And then you can go live with dad. I still saw him every day, and I was slowly adjusting to this new life when dad dropped another bombshell on me a few months later. He introduced me to his new girlfriend, Amanda. Oh, that was fast. She looked like she was a college graduate. I disliked her instantly. <laughs> oh, hi, cutie pie. Here, I got you a present. Why was she talking to me like I was five? Thanks, but it's not my birthday. Oh, I know when your birthday is. But one can give presents at any time, right? No, that present clearly says happy birthday on it. That means you don't know my birthday and thought it was today. So no, I will not accept my birthday present today. Idiot. I reluctantly pulled out a t-shirt, <laughs> which was cute, but I just shoved it back in the bag and dropped it on the ground. I don't think we have the same taste. You can return it. Bro got her an emoji t-shirt. Does she Google what do 10 year old girls like? Not a poop emoji or a minion, I don't want it. Amanda was like a pimple that wouldn't go away. Every time I visited dad, she was there. She also kept smothering me with gifts and her fake love, just so I would like her. And even worse, Dad married her a they year later. Married. I was still struggling to deal with all of this, so I created a YouTube channel called Dads and Daughters. This is how it started! Dads and Daughters? My childhood trauma could never. When I showed it to Dad, he loved it, and we would create cool ideas together for the show. Once in ninth grade, Dad and I were at a restaurant, and when he went to the bathroom, his phone started buzzing. It was Amanda. You know he's at dinner with me. Can't you let us have some time alone? Ariana, please give the phone to your dad. He's brave, leaving his phone on the table. Face up? What if she sends him a dirty text? He is way too trusting. I hung up and switched off dad's phone. He didn't notice until the end of dinner that his phone was off. And when he switched it on, he looked shocked at his messages. <gasps> oh my God. Amanda fell down the stairs. Uh -oh. And when Amanda told him she'd spoken to me, he was furious. He'd never been angry at me before. You will apologize to her or I'll cancel our YouTube show. Oh no, he's gonna cancel our YouTube show. No more daddy daughter vlogs and challenges. I mean, if you fall down the stairs and it's such an emergency like, hello, tell your dad I have an agonizing pain and I fell down the stairs and he needs to come now. Not, where's your dad? There's an emergency, I have to tell him. No. That's her fault. I'm sorry, Amanda, I guess. I was about to leave when she suddenly grabbed my wrist. You better listen to me clearly, brat. I'm here to stay whether you like me or not. And if you keep behaving this way, you won't be welcome in our house anymore. Don't mess with me again, Ariana. 
if you know what's good for you. She doesn't look like someone who just fell down the stairs. Is falling down the stairs code word for something else? Just then, Dad walked in, and she was all smiles. She was more evil than I thought. And just a few days later, Dad told me that he and Amanda had some big news. You're gonna be a big sister soon, Ariana. Yeah, see, I knew it! I knew it! Falling down the stairs is code word for pregnant. That's the news. Big sister to what? Your dad and I are having a baby. Big sister to what? Surely a, a dog, right? Oh, All no. I felt was anger and heartbreak, but I managed a small smile. And soon after, when the baby was born, dad looked at her the same way he looked at me and called her his little princess. <laughs> That's what he used to call me. He was too busy being oh. a new dad to shoot more episodes for our channel. And I decided I needed to stay away from him and his family. I vividly remember feeling the same way when each of my siblings were born. I was like, ugh, come on not another one why you keep having more kids now i will no longer be the favorite but now i am glad that i have so many siblings maybe mom noticed that i was really downcast because one day after dinner she said the two of us should go out for ice cream i could see she was trying to connect and i agreed oh i forgot about the mother i thought she was out of the picture we haven't heard from her in a while so tell me what's bugging you i feel like Dad doesn't love me anymore. Oh, honey, that's not true. You'll always be his little princess. No, he has another princess now. Mom stayed quiet at that and just hugged me tight. And then she gave me some news. A girl from Thailand will be attending your school on an exchange program, and she'll be living with us for some time. Are you okay with that? I mean, you already invited her to stay. What do you mean, am I okay with that? Even if I wasn't, where's she gonna stay? As long as I don't have to share my room, I guess it would be cool. A week later, we fetched Macy from the airport. She was a short, cute girl my age, and she was so excited when she saw us. Hi, I'm Macy. It's so nice to meet you. Oh my god, it's Dora the Explorer all grown up! I'm so excited about school tomorrow. Have you ever been to Thailand? No, but I... Oh, it's such a beautiful place. You should visit. Maybe when I go back for the holidays, you can come with me. Wouldn't that be fun? Bro, we just met each other five minutes ago. Shh. I had to live with this chatterbox for the next 12 months. The next morning, she woke me up at 4 a.m. so that we could go jogging. Couldn't even say no because she was our guest nah. and I was trying to be nice. You can go jogging at 4 a.m. I will be in this bed, sleeping. When I showed Macy around school on her first day, she spoke to just about everyone. I could see people laughing at her. Later that day when school ended, I couldn't find her anywhere. That's when she texted me to come rescue her because some kids had locked her up in the janitor's closet. <laughs> Listen, Macy, things are different here. People here don't just start talking to strangers. Yeah, you talk, you get locked up. Not really, but... But those girls were really mean to me, and I hadn't said anything mean to them. Just then, I spotted Dad's car, and he was waving at me. He said he'd been wanting to catch up with me, and I was really surprised. That is... Till I saw the new baby was with him. Ugh! The new baby? Get it away from me! Only one of us can be called princess! Ariana, can you hold her for a moment? I don't know how to hold a baby. Don't worry, I can do it! Thank God for Macy! She looked like she was really good with babies. Dad and I just walked quietly through the aquarium. Things had changed between us, and we didn't have much to say to each other anymore. Aww, I don't love you anymore. I have a baby now. Forgets about his other daughter. Our trip was over, and he dropped us home. You don't like your baby sister very much, do you? Can't you ever be quiet? Please. Just leave me alone. I just stormed off to my room, and I didn't even go down for supper that night. Good, because she wakes up at 4 a.m. anyways. Let her jog her way to school. And the next day, I sneaked off to school without Macy. I wasn't really angry with her. When she arrived at school, she left a note on my desk and then quickly sat down. The note read, Sorry for talking too much. Aww. <laughs> That's kind of sweet, though. I would feel so bad. It's like, we all know that one person that just keeps talking and talking and talking and talking. And it's like, if they're my friend, I I'm going to sit there and I'm going to listen to them and I'm going to let them talk as much as they would like to talk. I mean, sometimes I wish I could just be like, stop, that is enough. I would like to leave now, but I am a good friend. As we sat down during recess, the same girls who'd locked her the day before walked up to us. Hey, Ariana. You still have your walking, talking parrot with you? Aren't your ears bleeding by now with our nonstop chatter? No. 
I really like listening to her, but your voice is giving me a headache, so please go away and get a life. <laughs> but just then, the girl dunked her juice on Macy's head, and I pounced on her. As we rolled around fighting, Macy came running and sprayed ketchup all oh. over the girl's face. Oh, it's ketchup. Nah, that's the racha. We all ended up in detention, but it was totally worth it. Detention? My school, that would have been a suspension. Soon after, it was my 16th birthday, but mom wasn't keen on having a party at home because of the mess. No, sorry, no birthday party. It's gonna make a mess. Do you know how many crumbs will be on the floor? Confetti? An invention of the devil. Casey and I just went out to celebrate. As we were shopping at the mall, we bumped into Amanda and Kara. Macy she immediately like went all gaga over the baby, now. but I just stood on the side silently. Happy birthday, Ariana. Come on, Macy, let's go. Wait a second. It's funny that I bumped into you. I just bought you a gift. No thanks. I don't want anything from you. Why are you always like this, Ariana? I've really tried. Let me guess, it's another emoji shirt. Or maybe it's a stuffed Minecraft toy. Can you drop the fake nice act, please? The only thing you've tried to do is steal my dad. <laughs> Silly Ariana, I have your dad. Have you forgotten that you threatened me? I was angry with you then. I didn't really mean anything. Before she could finish, I just started walking quickly. Suddenly, I heard a scream, and I turned to see <gasps> Macy slip on something and fall to the ground. I rushed over to her and you she was she unconscious. Slept? Amanda quickly called an ambulance and went to the hospital with me. With I was so anxious as I sat there waiting. The doctor came soon and said Macy had a minor concussion. When I went to her room, she was sitting up in bed. Macy took off the locket she was wearing. I want to tell you something, Ariana. I had a baby sister too, and she was three years younger than me. She was my best friend, and then she died two years ago. My eyes welled up as I looked at her sister's picture. I carry her around with me everywhere. Love the people around you while you can, so you never have any regrets. I thought this was animation about being a YouTuber and becoming a millionaire. Now getting a sad life lesson? I ain't trying to cry right now. And I found Amanda was still waiting outside for us. She drove us back home. When we got there, the house was pitch dark. I guess the lights are out. Just as I opened the door, the lights surprise! came on and many people yelled, surprise! It was my birthday party and dad was there along with my friends from school. Why was her mom at her dad's house? If I was a stepmom, I would have started a fight. Mom, I thought you didn't want to get the house dirty. Don't worry, I'll sanitize the place once the party's over. I hugged mom and dad and then I turned to Amanda. Thank you for being there for me today. I'm sorry for how I've treated you, I really am. Can I give you your present now? You already did. I picked up my baby sister and hugged her tight. Where's the present? What did she get you? If it's not a PS5 from Sniper Wolf, I don't want it. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the thanks. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.